Xavier, I'm wondering, uh, after you got let out of your NIL with, with Michigan and, and Steve Sarkeesian started to recruit you, did you have any familiarity with any or know of any Texas wide receivers uh, when you were growing up from when in California, like Quan or Shipley or any, any of those guys? Were there any wide receivers that you were aware of? Um, no, not really. I wasn't familiar with no Texas wide receivers. I just wanted to come and build with Sark. Um, we had that relationship going into – before I came into Michigan. So I just wanted to come build with him from the start. Kirk Bowles, go ahead. Yeah, Xavier, uh, congratulations on your game. Did did you feel like uh, you guys were going to pull that out after your uh, uh, last touchdown pass? And could you explain your decision to return the kickoff uh, that led to the fumble? Um, yeah, um, I feel like um, – I thought I gave us a shot to give us a um, a chance to get the game, but LU made some big plays at the end of the game. Um, the kick return that was, it was just a little mental error. We built from it, come up for it, but LU made some good plays at the end of the game to get the get the W. Brian Davis, go ahead. Yes, Dave. Um, you know, every time we've talked to you, it, it's it's very clear that that you are confident in yourself and your abilities and all those things. Um, you know, so I'm curious, what, what, what were you either telling yourself or what were teammates telling you, um, after that play? Because it would have been very easy to, you know, unplug at that point, but you made two huge catches after that. So how, how'd you stay focused? Um, a couple of players and Sark came to me, um, Sark uh, came to me first and told me, uh, give me a smile, man. you be all right. We're going to come back at you and we're going to give you a chance to make that up. So they came back at me and I just ended up making those plays. John, hi, go ahead. And Xavier, after what you guys, you guys made it look easy for most of that game. What did, what did you take from that game that you were able to do that against what's supposed to be a top 10 team? Uh, we just want to carry that into next week uh, against Oklahoma State and uh, build off of that. Chip Brown, go ahead. Xavier, what uh... – uh, without Jordan Whittington, can you just talk about how you all adjust and obviously Oklahoma State, um, their defense, what you've seen from them, uh, probably going to be a pretty good test. Oh, yeah, Oklahoma has a lot of – Oklahoma State has a lot of returning starters. Um, as our coach says, next man up. Um, but all, I feel like all our receivers are prepared and ready to step up. Cedric, you're up. Hey, Xavier. Uh, Bijan told us yesterday after your fumble, he sought you out on the sideline and said, keep your head in the game. We need we need another big play from you. How important is that relationship to you and uh, the leadership uh, that he's showing you? Uh, and he's just a sophomore himself. Mm -hmm. uh, Bijan, uh, he's my roommate uh, in our hotel room, so we talk every night. So he's just a, a real big role model to me, uh, a leader on the team too. So. Him just saying that just helped me keep my confidence in the game. Danny Davis, go ahead. Xavier, going back to the kick returns, um, what do you think you, Deshaun, Roshan, kind of bring to the team in that aspect of the game? Uh, I feel like we're all really explosive, so they uh, they don't really, really want to kick it to us. So they try to high kick it, do anything like tricky to get us out, like not to be able to return it. So I feel like any of us could take it to the house. Kirk Foles, go ahead. Yeah, Xavier, did you feel like this was your coming out party on a national stage and feel like you made yourself a national name and you almost expect to get double teamed from, from now on? Nah, I feel like I feel like we just had like really good team success, so they really couldn't key on nobody. So you know, next game going forward, I feel like we're all gonna have a big game. Terry, go ahead. Xavier, uh, thanks for being with us. Hope you had a great practice today. Can you share with us what does your week look like and how you prepare uh, to going into the game? What is your discipline look like? Uh, well, our coach tells us every all week um, focus on the little things, little details. Um, don't take anything for granted. Um, like he says, you'd rather be prepared with the opportunity than not be prepared with the opportunity. So everybody's just taking advantage of the opportunity. Chip Brown, go ahead. Xavier, uh, Casey 
Thompson threw for five touchdowns in that, in that game. Um, you know, a kid from Oklahoma doing that against uh, the Sooners, obviously not in a victory, but what did, what did he show you? What, uh, what stood out to you about his performance in that game? Uh, that was a really big game for Casey playing his hometown team. Dad played for the team and all. So we wanted to get that done for him, but Unfortunately, he didn't go out as things planned. But um, Casey had a really good game. He got poised throughout the whole game, didn't get nervous, didn't get too amped up. So he had a really good game. Anwar, you're up. Uh, Xavier, can you just describe for us what it was like participating in your first Red River, you know, a game and what that environment was like for you? And then what I'm kind of curious what you felt like you learned about yourself and, and also your team, you know, through that, through that game, that process. Uh, I feel like that was that's probably one of the funnest games I ever played in. Um, the atmosphere, like, it was crazy. You come in, you hear boo, and then you instantly go to ah, it's crazy. But I feel like our team is going to be really good in the future. Um, we just want to take it week by week and get to the Big 12 championship. Last one, Brian Davis. Yeah, Xavier, I just want to ask you again about just big plays uh, in the passing game. That, that had been an issue early on, but why do you think – Dam finally broke open, and, and y'all got a lot of big throws. Uh, Sark said um, every week we're going to hit these big plays. It's going to come. And this week it just happened to end up connecting. Like, it was perfect time. Hey, X, you got asked a question earlier about former Longhorn receivers that you kind of looked up to. We talked about Marquise Goodwin a while ago. What is it about his game you like? Um, he reminds – he's like a um, – people said I remind him. He reminds – I remind them or me of them. So – like, because our, our size, quick, as a uh, ability to break tackles, it's just like everybody says, I'll remind them, remind me of him. We got one last one. Jim Fortuno, go ahead. Yeah, hi, Xavier. Um, I, I just want to go back to what Sark said to you when you said he told you to give him a smile. Mm -hmm. Did it surprise you? What did you think he was going to say when he first walked up to you? Were you were you ready for something different? And, and, and what was it like to hear those words come out of his mouth? Uh, no, Sark, Sark uh, he does that all the time. Uh, he comes at you, smiles. He builds up your confidence. So um, when he told me that, I just knew I just knew he was going to come back to me, and I just had to make the play when it came to him. Yeah, Anthony, could you break down y'all's uh, defensive second half, and why do you feel like Oklahoma had so much success in the second half after y'all contained them so well the first half? Um, I just feel like Oklahoma, you know, they did a good job. Um, sticking to that game plan. Uh, we got some small things like out of whack on the defense side of the ball, but like overall, we're getting it fixed. It's no big deal. Danny Davis, go ahead. Anthony, you've obviously been playing ball for a while. Um, looking back at your career, is there a loss that kind of sticks out that maybe stung the most prior to this past weekend? And how did you get over that and not, as they say, let it become another loss and another loss and continue to beat you? Yeah, um, I can't like pinpoint any um like loss after this one. Just like any loss hurts, but um, I'm like, what you got to do is just move uh, forward. Coach Bacon like told us like the best way to get this feeling off of you is to uh, put it on somebody else. So that's what we're trying to do. Brian Davis, go ahead. Yeah, Anthony. I mean, I was uh, going back. You had a you had a huge moment against against TCU and stuff. And I just wonder how uh, how would you personally rate your season? Uh, so far, how, how do you think how do you think it's been for you? I feel like it's been cool. Um, I've been like you know just trying to improve week by week, you know, and do whatever I can to like help the team. Mm -hmm. John, hi, go ahead. Anthony, yesterday we we talked with BJ. And he said you guys have been having some issues like three straight weeks on the defensive side of the ball that y'all got to get fixed. And he said they're fixed. How do they get fixed so fast? What what's improved? Uh, just um, taking what the coach says, then film study. It's like stuff that you already know, but like, you know, in the heat of the moment, you just got to stay poised, you know, and execute. That's the biggest thing, execute. Kirk, you're up. Uh, Anthony, uh, could you give me your impressions of uh, Caleb Williams, the Oklahoma quarterback, and uh, also uh, describe what happened on that 66-yard touchdown run that, that was such a key play that he had? Yeah, um, I obviously think he's a good player. You know, he came in and won the game for him, so that was big time. But um, on the uh, QB run, um, we just got to wrap up. You know, we had a couple missed tackles, and, you know, those missed tackles um, you know, cost us a touchdown.
Larry, go ahead. Anthony, thanks for being with us. Really appreciate the opportunity to be able to talk with you. Here we're almost in the middle of the season. What is the best part, the funnest part for you to be a player on the Texas Longhorns and to be in the middle of all this? Yeah, I just say on the opportunity each week, you know, you we're facing like, you know, good competition each week. Um, it's on um, prime time. So, you know, it just feel good. Danny Davis, go ahead. I mean, I think you got your first ever start a few years ago against Oklahoma State. Over the years, what what has your impressions been of the Cowboys and um, what Coach Gundy has kind of built over there? Yeah, um, a great team, a great team. You know, they like to run the ball, you know, and stuff like that. But just a, a great group overall. Kirk, you're up. Yeah, Anthony, how would you evaluate Spencer Sanders, the Oklahoma State quarterback? Uh, his numbers don't look that good, 58%, five touchdowns, four picks. Uh, it, do you see some struggles that maybe uh, that y'all could exploit on defense, Anthony? Um, I just feel like overall um, he's a good quarterback. You know, he, he, he can threaten us in the run, too, so he can run. But, uh, you know, they undefeated. So, uh, regardless, um, he leading that team over there. So, you, you got to, like, respect that. 